Welcome to the Adventures in Alchemy podcast, where we share tips, techniques, and true stories to support you in using the law of attraction and alchemy to create magic and live the life of your dreams. Here's your host, the founder of DailyAlchemy.com, Michelle Martin Dobbins. Hi, this is Michelle Martin Dobbins with Daily Alchemy, and this is another episode of Adventures in Alchemy. And today I want to talk to you about how to speed up your manifesting or something slowing you down with four ways to lighten your load for faster manifesting. So sometimes, you know, we feel like we get bogged down and we're stuck and we're not moving forward and we're not creating the life that we want. Everything is the same today as it was yesterday and we're pretty much thinking it's going to be the same again tomorrow not what we want. So in order to kind of let go of some things and get stuck, we have to drop things that are just taking up space and not bringing us joy to make room for new manifestations to come in. And you may have heard if you've worked with a life coach or dealt with anything like that, sometimes these things can be called tolerations. They're things in our life that we're just tolerating. They bring us no joy. And in fact, they drag our energy down, but we don't necessarily do anything about it. We just tolerate it. And the more of those that we have in our life, the less we're focused on getting where we want because they just drag our energy down. And it's hard to put in the proper healthy thoughts and do the things to raise your vibration when things are dragging you down. So four ways to lighten your load. One is one that I talked about not too long ago in an episode is physical clutter, okay? Sometimes things build up in our living space. We know we don't need, we might be saving it for later just in case, or maybe some items are just pure trash and we're not dealing with it. Get them out. Make them gone. Now, today, do it. Get a trash bag and... Put 10 items in it that you know are trash and stick them in the trash. Do it today. Take 10 items that you don't need and put them in a back of a bag or a box in the back of your car and give them away. Take them to a thrift shop, whatever, but get them out of your house. Why? Because it's magic. It is pure magic. I am not even joking. Catherine Ponder, one of my favorite metaphysical authors, says that nature abhors a vacuum. And it is true. Once you get that stagnant energy out of your house, out of your environment, it could be an office too, your vibration will lift and it will be easier to create what you want. And just like magic, cool things happen. (laughs) I don't know a better way to say it. Um, When you get rid of clutter, uh, it makes life so much better. Time wasters is number two. We all need downtime and there are things that we do just for fun. So I'm not saying you give up your DVR episodes of the Big Bang or you don't ever play Candy Crush or whatever game that you like. My daughter has one. Oh, it escapes the mind. Anyway, just realize whether or not it's bringing you joy or if it's bringing your vibration down because you're using them to avoid feeling your feelings, going out and doing activities you really want to do. How do you feel when you're doing them? Because yeah, enjoying a TV episode or two is fine, but if you just sat and binge watched 12 episodes or did a whole season this weekend, I'm thinking that that probably brought your vibration down instead of up, unless it was just pure, pure joy to you. And I I can't tell you what something does for you. But my thought is that there's definitely a time and a place. And if you're doing something just to avoid living, I hate to tell you, in this world, we can go through our whole lives and not really live. We can get a job that's okay. And we can make enough money to survive and we can sit at home and play Candy Crush and, you know, dish on people on Facebook and watch TV and go to bed and get up and do the same thing over and over again and never really live. And that's not what you want to do. And, you know, law of attraction, like attracts like. If you want new things and you want to experience magic in your life, you got to get off of the couch. 
not all the time, but sometimes, you know, downtime isn't all the time. Balance. Okay, number three, activities you don't enjoy. You know, if you're like me and you're a mom, you're on the go a lot. There are a lot of activities that you can do. And sometimes we feel like we should do them. You know, I do a lot of volunteering, not as much as I used to because my kids are homeschooled. So now we more choose what we want to do. But, you know, am I really serving somebody by volunteering to do something at the school that makes my heart sink? And I'm like, ugh, no. There are so many people, you don't have to say yes to everything. If you like love to bake, then bake stuff for the bake sale. If you're thinking, oh, kill me now, then don't sign up for that. Do something else or don't. Just choose activities that make you feel good. Don't do things because you should do them or you're supposed to do them or people think that you're bad if you don't do them. And by all means, I'm not saying not to ever volunteer, be assistance of other people, but there are ways to do it that makes your heart sing too. You should not have to suffer (laughs) through activities that you don't enjoy. So I would say cut out as many of them as you can. And if your job is on that list, start looking for a new job and or finding ways to enjoy this one now. In fact, doing both will serve you. And the last one, number four, thoughts that don't serve you. You know you have those thoughts that run through your mind that do nothing but drag them down. And I know trying not to think a thought is like, you know, if I say don't think about a white horse, you just thought about a white horse. So my favorite technique is to create a replacement thought or a mantra and to work on repeating that. Put it on a sticky note, put it on your, as your cell phone background, the new thought and practice that new thought and let go of the ones that don't serve you. Also, one more thing, if you have someone in your life that you have not forgiven that and you're walking around with a lot of anger or a lot of sadness, those take up so much mental space. So I know that this is a process and it's a process that I've talked about in other places and you can find other help with it. So I'm not going to go deep into it, but letting go and forgiving people, it opens up for new wonderful things to come into your life. And I, I'm just going to say I've read before somewhere and I know I can't remember. I'm sorry, but someone had the quote of like, you know, anger is you know, holding on to unforgiveness is like taking a poison yourself and expecting someone else to die. You know, when you're holding those hard feelings, it's really only hurting you and it's keeping your vibration low and keeping you from having the magic in your life that wants to be there. Okay, so this is your assignment. Take the trash out in your life, (laughs) be it real trash, be it mental trash, Or just the items and activities are second best, okay? Because if you're doing something that's just okay, like, um, you know, I don't really like football, but it's something to do on Friday night. Well, you know, how about you do something that you really love? What if you really love to go take an art class on Friday night? And maybe you're going to meet some fabulous people in there and it's going to invite all kinds of magic into your life. And If you love football, by all means, be there, go there, do that. But don't do it just because it's what everybody else does. This is your life. You get to live it your way. And for me, that means having as much magic and as much fun as I can. So magic lifers, go out there and have a magical day. Create some joy and let go of all that's not serving you. And I'll talk to you next time. Namaste. Thanks for listening to the Adventures in Alchemy podcast. Connect with me on thedailyalchemy.com or Facebook at facebook.com slash Michelle Dobbins author. Join us next time for even more magical life tips.